<laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, two fat guys try here. Um, we uh, oh, we're not really looking forward to this one. Um, oh no! I especially am not because um, this is a a sequel. This is um, if anybody remembers the uh, WBC root beer that we did. We have the bottle. It's probably in there. It was like a couple days ago. Don't go digging. Oh my god, he does. He dug through my trash. Just for the record, we recorded that like a day ago. Four additional grams of sugar. What, what this one has four more? Yes. <sighs> Wilfred Brimley on speed dial. Uh, so this is Caruso's dark. Italian style dark cream soda. I wonder if it'll have anything on Google. Because the other one didn't. <sighs> Probably not. And I really don't want to look. If it, I'll look after, you know, while I'm editing this. And if well, it does, let's go die. Uh, I, I, there was no, I mean, it, Doug got this at the, uh, I mean, it smells like vanilla. So, at maybe, least to me. Maybe it's like vanilla Pepsi. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, Doug got this at the same time he got the, uh, the WBC root beer. So, my assumption, and at the same dollar store. I cannot see anything because of the color of the uh, the beverage, but I don't see any floaties, which is good. Um, and I don't see a an expiration date printed anywhere. But once again, that's probably because of the uh, the color of the soda, the beverage against the. You know how we find out. The thing, yeah. Three we drink. Oh God. To our deaths. <laughs> Three, two, one. Significantly better than yesterday. I will say it is better. This is like it's not out of date. It's not. Five fourteen twenty two. Where's the thing? Oh, you took a way bigger swig than I did. Um, I don't have one. It's there. It, cool. I don't have one. Um. Uh, okay, so. If you're like me, and your parents never bought ice cream, but you like ice cream, you made your own. The way I made my own ice cream was with milk, some sugar, and vanilla extract. And oh I my put god, it, that's kind of what this tastes like. I put it in a Ziploc bag, and then I put that Ziploc bag in another Ziploc bag that had ice and salt, and I shook it, and I made my own ice cream. That's what I did. I read how to do it online, and I did that. That is what this tastes like, only in liquid form. It was like if you drank, if you dissolved the sugar and the vanilla extract in the milk, and you drank the milk, it's ice cream soup. Yeah, that's what this tastes like. This is ice cream soup. It's carbonated ice cream soup. It tastes like a fucking ice cream float. Significantly better than yesterday. I agree. I will might finish this. Uh, I th might. This this is like 0.25 to 0.5 better than the mm -hmm. root beer. For me. I like it a lot better than the root beer. I like the vanilla taste of it. Because I do like vanilla. Vanilla is one of my favorite, like... You know, yeah. It doesn't taste like a cream soda either. No, it doesn't. And I'm not a fan of cream soda. That's why I wasn't looking forward to this, because I don't like cream soda. I do feel like I'm going to die, though. It is more carbonated. Definitely. I'm going to attribute the lack of carbonation in the root beer to the fact that it was like a month out of date. No, I still... Oh, no, there it is. I have a date. Uh, I can't read my date. Bless you. I'm going to say... I come for your soul. What is your date? 5-14-22. Okay, mine's seven sixteen, and I'm assuming that's 22, because if it was seven sixteen twenty one. So yours is even fresher than mine. Yeah. 
Mine's even fresher. So, um, <clears throat> no, this is significantly better. I I can feel like Wilford Brimley is approaching rapidly. He is approaching our location. At, at, at an increasingly rapid pace. He's like two kilometers in and closing. He's like an Apache attack helicopter. Um, I like it, but I don't want to finish it just because of how much sugar is in it. It's about to come in with an Apache helicopter full of insulin shots. <laughs> like, in all seriousness, I'm hoping that this, this camera will focus. Um, the total sugars, and then where it says includes 68 grams added sugars, stand by. Oh my god. <clears throat> it's a sneeze burp. I'm not happy about the fact <coughs> that I drank this. Oh, there it is. Um, so yeah, it's uh, 136. <clears throat> oh my god, that was disgusting. I don't know if you can see this. Come on, focus. Focus. But yeah, right right there, if you can see it, it probably, no. But it says 136%. I'm going to sneeze again. <coughs> oh, it's all the sugar. I'm having a sugar sneeze. The only thing that I will give them, the only thing. I'm going to continue sneezing. Go ahead and continue speaking. <coughs> Uh, <laughs> woo. Th this is the dark cream Italian gods coming to kill us. Uh, <laughs> the, the one thing I will give this company uh, ships are coming in, even if it's to huh? the detriment of every consumer's <sighs> health, uh -huh. is they don't use high fructose corn syrup. Corn syrup? They use real sugar. I'm gonna sneeze again. What the fuck? Which is probably why it's so. It doesn't have the traditional sweet flavor. It's <laughs> it's it's the sweet that hits you hard. <laughs> it packs a punch. Oh my god. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna finish mine. I've been trying to cut down on my sugar and I like my my intake. And I'm pretty sure that this will undo I everything. Found, I finished the root beer yesterday. I'm not doing that today. Oh my god. <laughs> it's better. I wish I could stop sneezing. It's better, but it is, I yes. advise no one to seek this out. I, don't make for this the a regular. Sake of your, I yeah. know we're two fat guys, but for the sake, yeah, for of, the your sake health, of your health. If you're like, oh my god, this sounds great, you are going to die. If I mean, you drink it's these regular. It's <laughs> yeah, it's worth a shot trying. It's worth just to try it. This this particular one is worth a shot. Leave the root beer on the shelf. This one's okay to try. Just one, just one. It's enough for a lifetime. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> oh, there it is. I you smell what I'm stepping on. <clears throat> High five. Oh, that was my, that was, that my was the chair. chair. <laughs> I gave my chair diabetes. <laughs> uh, uh, that was so. Yeah. Um, uh, that is. I don't think you should be allowed to make drinks with that much. Sugar. I really don't think you should. I think this should be like, and this isn't even a a, a normal size bottle. This is this Three is the smaller of bottle. Today's energy drinks. Don't come with that kind of Well, energy. I've got a Monster can right here. And Monster has 54 grams of added sugar. A single Monster. That's a lot. It's 108%. And this has 68. So it's 14 grams more. I will say, yes, I'll have one of these every once in a while. Whatever. That's also uh, more liquid. Uh, no, actually. This is... 16 fluid ounces. This is 16.9. Oh, fuck. <laughs> right, so, so, I don't know. I mean, it, it's... This is, like, more of a, a... I could see... Because of the size of this, I could see somebody drinking multiples of these a day if they really like it. I don't think anybody should drink more than one energy drink a day. That's Personally. It, like, if you put that around kids or something... Yeah, with the amount of caffeine that's in this, I mean... Printer just finished. Um, 
with the amount of caffeine that's in a monster, and and this is my own justification. You can you can say anything you want. With the one. amount of caffeine that's in a monster, one should be enough. At least for me, it is. I like to drink one every once there, in a while there, to wake up. There are people who down four or five monsters a day. That's I'm looking at you, Benji. You. I'm looking at you. Now, <laughs> I will say, uh, one of my coworkers that I had for a very short amount of time, uh, the only sane one I had at my one workplace, uh-huh. uh, they they had a monster and they worked a twelve hour shift. Right. Uh, they'd have one monster, and they would literally drink like a quarter of it every quarter of the day. Mm-hmm. And it's like th- they got the one with like the lid. Oh, that one, the big one. Okay. But it was like it would take them the whole day to drink it. Yeah. But it's like. The way they described it to me was, if I drink, you know, like a cup of it now, I'm good for a while. Then Mm -hmm. I drink another cup, then I drink another cup, and it's like, by the end of the day, the monster's gone, but I've made it through my day. Mm. See, I I have found in my my aging, uh, you know, I'm not old, but, you know, in my getting older... I found that I need more and more caffeine to <laughs> continue. And uh, I don't want to start taking caffeine pills because my, uh, not to get personal or anything, but my, my father was addicted to those. And it's just like any other substance. It's a stimulant. You can get addicted to it. <clears throat> I don't care what anybody says. Um, so I I just refuse self-control i refuse to to take a caffeine pill um so the way that i ingest caffeine is usually through a monster or like a five-hour energy or something like that and i would think that a five-hour energy would probably if you are going to consume caffeine that in a drink aside from like coffee or something i would think that five-hour energy would be the healthiest way. It, I believe it because is. Because it doesn't it have much sugar, if any. It doesn't, it has hardly any sugar, and it has the caffeine equivalent of, like, two, two cups, cups of Two cups, two, two and a half cups of coffee. Which is what most Americans drink a day anyway. Yeah. Now, so, I, personally, if it weren't for the fact of how I feel, I think part of the reason I don't do it is not because I don't like it, mm-hmm. but because of the fact that the effort I need to put into it to drink it. Mm-hmm. What, it, coffee? Yeah. See, I, I can't... Coffee is too bitter for me. Even I've, if I load I it up with sugar. I love coffee. But in order for me to make coffee, I need to be awake. Yeah. I want to be awake to make my coffee. Don't you have a Keurig? I do. So it's just too... I, I, I mean, I know it's going to sound like I'm the laziest fuck in the world, but it's just like... And they call me lazy. I, I've, I'm giving you shit, dog. I've tried. Just well, too damn tired when I wake up. Yeah, he is a... You should see him. He's a friggin' zombie. I am. He is literally... He stumbles out of bed, goes to the bathroom, does his thing, sits in front of the TV, and just groans. And, I, yeah, I veg out until I, I boot yeah. up to, till my window's 95. <laughs> Decides he's to he's come a online. yeah he's a Pentium three run on like <laughs> like yeah, thirty two megabytes you of remember RAM. Remember when your dad used to go in the living room and turned on the computer before he did anything else yeah. because he knew maybe by the time he finished making breakfast it would be it would be on. on. <laughs> That's me. That's Doug. He's That's an old, me. He's an old Commodore sixty four running for. It's like you you you, yeah. t- you, you wake it up. But then you you forget about it for a while because it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not still warming be... up. It's still doing its thing. Yeah, that's I. I... He's got a mechanical hard drive. We need to we need to I need an swap SSD. an SSD in there. But <laughs> uh, no, I I'm gonna say give this a half point higher than my. Oh yeah, we need to. I need to break out the uh, the the drink Bible here. I'm I'm gonna give it a half point more than my our drink score 
All right, so this is called, if I can get my thingy here, um, oh, Blue Dog 35 shared your video. That's because I added it to the Two Fat Guys Try uh, playlist. Oh, rolling into like a sugar cult, Jesus <laughs> Christ. All right, so what is this WBC Dark Cream? WBC Dark, yep, Darge, Dark Cream Soda. All right, your score, number, please. Uh, what was my score? Uh, your score for WBC six. Give it a six point five. Six point five. Yeah. All right. My score for WBC was a five. I'm gonna give this a seven because I like it a lot better. It is significantly better, um, and it's something that I would actually partake in drinking. Um, so that brings, or that puts this beverage, uh, WBC Dark Cream Soda, at number 13 on our list. Um, so, yeah, I With need to figure WBC, out. WBCB, you should be like WBC, they each are other. next to each other. Uh, the Dark Cream has a, an average score of uh, 6.75. And the Chicago root beer has a 5.5. So, um... It's going to be hard to beat Ginger Snap. <laughs> it's going to be... It's, yeah. There's going to be a drink that we both rate a zero. Uh, or a half. It's like a zero or a half, a yeah. Five. Yeah. No, absolutely. I don't Cause... think either of us made it through the entire no, Ginger No, no, we both, we both poured our cans out. I still have the can because I like to save... You know the unique cans, but, but oh my god, that it was, was it was ooky. That was bad. It was ooky. And <laughs> and what's what's the uh, the second place loser? Second loser is Welch's sparkling berry. Yeah, that's still. And be then going bad. going from bottom to top, we have Mountain Dew Ginger Snap, Welch's sparkling berry, Aldi Red Bull. So it's uh, I think it's called Red Thunder, or something is what they called it. I wish um, we had Mountain Holler up. Oh God, I know that was that good, was so though. good. That was good. That was though. so good. Long before Two Fat Guys Try existed, there's a um, what it was, was it? Save, save a lot, lot, save a lot brand. Uh, Mountain Dew it's, called Mountain I think Holler. It's the only thing we would like, yeah. regular. It's like yeah. we wouldn't buy anything else from just Mountain Holler. It, yeah, it was, it was that it was good. Really good. Um, we got uh, Mountain Dew Major Melon, um, WBC Chicago Root Beer, WBC Dark Cream Soda. Monster Mule, regular, plain old monster, uh, Nitro Pepsi, Mountain Dew Frostbite, the original balls, Mountain Dew Merry Mashup, Nitro Pepsi Vanilla, Monster Reserve Pineapple, Coke Starlight, Monster Nitrous, uh, Aussie Lemonade Monster, Dew SA, and Speed Energy. That's from bottom to top. Um, now, I need to figure out a way to put this into a text file so that I can put it like on the screen when we're uh, discussing um, but that is a little on the difficult side at least for me my, my very 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 poor editing skills I'm going to have to go find us more drinks we're almost out of drinks to try right now we have two left we have two but yeah, I we have like, two I that like are both energy drinks of yeah. Things to try. Um, and then uh, I think we're up. No, we have one more. We currently have one more um, uh, snack in store, in stock. Which we will not name. Which, which we will not uh, name. But it's <coughs> new. It is new. It is new. And it's something that we probably should try um, to capitalize on newness. the newness. The uh, ninnies. That'll but probably be tomorrow. We'll probably, yeah, we'll probably do that tomorrow. Uh, so anyways, um, if you like this video, rate, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, okay, here's a good question. What's well, a good question, Doug? Uh, what is something you tried once, enjoyed a lot, but said never again? Sweet. 
So something that you had that you knew was like really bad for you and you just say no. That's kind of me with this. It's like Okay. All right. I had it once. I right. had that experience. I'm good. You want to know what it is for me? What is it? A Krispy Kreme donut. You haven't had one. I have. It's a Cinnabon that I've never had. Oh, well, you need an to... actual Cinnabon. Well, we'll have to no. fix that. I said I'm never going to have an actual Cinnabon. Yes, you Because are. I will become a Cinnabon. No, you will have one. No. I have had Cinnabons before. I know. I've I've had and one I Krispy Kreme donut, and I'm never, ever going to have another one again because it was literally the best donut I've ever had, and... You but know, having one and then having a sprint is possible. With Cinnabon, no. Yes, it, it is. is. Not. It's absolutely not with me. It is with me. That's, and you're a completely different fucking set of bones than I am. We'll request it. We'll do it. Please don't. All right. How about this? 10,000 subscriber special. Okay, 10,000 subscriber special. I know that because it's never going to happen. <laughs> Make it happen, people. 10,000 subscriber special. I'll do a Cinnabon. Okay. All right. You heard it here. 100,000 subscriber special. Krispy Kreme and Cinnabon. At the same time. We'll make a... We'll make a... a, a, a a glazed donut Cinnabon sandwich. 100,000 subscribers. We've only got 99,980 to go. Sorry, 70 to go. Well, start sharing with your friends, peeps. <laughs> it's like a pyramid scheme. If you share it and tell five people to share it, or if you share it to five people and tell them to have five people and then five people You'll and make then five two people. fat guys eat things. And then five people and then five. We can beat T-Series. Bye. <laughs>